DJI released the latest action camera last week and that's the DJI Action 5 Pro and I'm holding it here in my hand. One thing that caught my attention in their announcement was that they claim this little device have 13 stops of dynamic range and that's quite a lot for an action camera. So I've been using it a couple of days and let's see if their claim is true. For almost all of my videos here on YouTube in this place, I've been using the DJI Action 4 and I've been quite impressed with that little action camera just because it's so small and versatile and easy to use and you get 10 bit for 2.2 and you get a log profile also so you can grade it properly in post-production. But if there's something I don't like about the DJI Action 4 is that the dynamic range is a little bit lacking. You can see that it struggles sometimes with keeping the shadows in range and clipping the highlights. So, of course, it's not a, a professional camera like the A7S III or the CVE-1 where you get extreme dynamic range. So you can't expect too much from a action camera like, like the DJI Action 4. So that's why we're going to try and see how much more we can squeeze out of the highlights and shadows with the DJI Action 5 Pro. So first, when I took this action camera out of the box and just compared it straight away to the Action 4, I didn't really see any difference right there at the back of the screen between these two action cameras. And honestly, it looked like the DJI Action 4 could see much more deeper into the shadows from where I was sitting in this restaurant. But I was thinking that maybe it just seemed like the DJI Action 4 had more dynamic range because of the, the more washed out screen at the back of that camera compared to the new one, Action 5 Pro, because if, not, if I'm not mistaken, this has a OLED screen. So that will produce a more deeper shadows and more of a contrasty image on the back of the camera. Before jumping to any conclusion here, when I first tried it out, I said to myself, okay, let's have a look at it on a proper screen before I make any kind of judgment about the dynamic range. When I was going home, I stopped to film the sun setting behind the trees to have a look how these cameras performed in this situation. And here it dawned on me that I should probably not be using the standard exposure at EV 0.0. So I went in and set both of these cameras to plus 1.7 because that is how much I could overexpose this little camera and still get, you know, coverage in the sky and also bring up the shadows quite a lot in this tree line. So after filming that sunset I came home here and I went around and filmed straight out the window to give these two cameras a real challenge. And then I brought them to work and I did exact same thing, just went around and tried to find all these situations where I knew these two ca cameras would struggle to keep everything in range. And if you look closely at these sequences, you can see that the Action 4 really struggles keeping the highlights in range and the DJI Action 5 Pro does a great job really containing all of that information, the highlights and in the shadows. Let's do a test right here and right now. I'm going to switch out the DJI Action 4 for the Action 5 Pro and let's see if we get a bump in the dynamic range here in my apartment. Okay, so now I switch to the DJI Action 5 Pro and let's see if we get some upgrade in the dynamic range here. And it's hard to see right from the bat, but I'm gonna put myself in split view so you can really see if there's some upgrade to the image. I should probably mention that there's a little bit of a controversy regarding the DJI Action 5 Pro's bitrate. So people have found that DJI brought down the bitrate on the DJI Action 5 Pro just to make it more power efficient so that they can claim that this little camera can last forever and ever. I think they're claiming four hours. So I don't care so much about battery life. So maybe DJI in the future can give us an option to, to raise the bitrate on the DJI Action 5 Pro. And honestly, 
they've been really good at updating this uh, DJI Action 4, so I'm I have confidence that DJI will probably look into the DJI Action 5 Pro and give us an option to raise the bitrate. So will I upgrade to the DJI Action 5 Pro? I don't know yet. I don't know. Maybe. Spending all that money just to get 13 stops of dynamic range? Mm. And I don't really need two action cameras. Or maybe I do. I don't know. So maybe I will sell the DJI Action 4 if I can't find another good use for this one. But what about you guys? Are you going to buy the DJI Action 5 Pro? Let me know in the comment section so we can talk about it. Okay guys, I hope this was helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.